Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review and lip swatch video on the new Milani Nudes Collection. I was about to drop this one, Fetish Lipsticks. I'm so excited to be reviewing and doing some swatches on these because they are so stunning. As soon as I saw that Milani came out with these, I was like, wait, wait a minute. I need them all for $8.99. But before we do get started, I do quickly want to introduce myself for those of you guys who are new to my channel. Hi, welcome. My name is Jessica, aka The Mexican Beauty. I make videos all things beauty, lifestyle, and fashion. I would love for you to go ahead that subscribe button down below. Also, while you're at it, please don't forget to hit that notification bell because I'll make sure you never miss a video. Also, if you guys ever miss me here on YouTube, please go ahead and follow me on my other platforms because I'm pretty much there all the time. First of all, Instagram, The Mexican Beauty, and also now on TikTok, The Mexican Beauty. That's pretty much all I have for you guys. Let's go ahead and get right into this lippy video. So keep watching. Okay, let's get into these swatches because I am so excited about these lippies. So this is the collection right here. It comes with six different gorgeous colors. I feel like these are just the prettiest news and also the perfect fall tone. So I'm gonna split them into these two categories. We're gonna start off first with these three right here because these are darker colors and they're harder to remove. So I just wanna get it over with um, so that we're not having to like go in and be extra. So I'm gonna start off with the darkest one. This one is in the shade Sensual and these do retail for $8.99. You can find them at Ulta. That's where I found mine at. Um, and I do wanna talk about them as I apply them, but this is the darkest color in Sensual. So you twist it and I'm just going to be doing a rough application of all of them um, so that you guys can see fully what they look like on the lips with no lip liner or anything. But I will give you guys some affordable suggestions for lip liners. So let's start. So you guys can see how rich that color is. Like I said, these aren't going to be the perfect swatches, but this is just to show you the color. So this is sensual. It is so gorgeous. Like this is literally the perfect staple piece, especially if you do have a very simple eye look or keeping it super neutral on the eyes and kind of want this to be your staple piece of the look. This will be gorgeous. It's a deep chocolate and it looks absolutely stunning, literally giving me all the fall vibes. This is exactly how I would wear this look like to a pumpkin patch or something with big hoops, hair laid. It's so nice and creamy. It doesn't feel heavy whatsoever. It feels very comfortable on the lips. It does transfer a little bit. I feel like unless you're using a liquid lipstick, then that won't transfer. But for these, I would say they transfer. Maybe give them a few minutes to kind of like set down and they won't transfer as much, but you guys can see that in case you're wondering. What I would recommend for a lip liner is this NYX lip liner in the shade Brown. This is one of my favorites because it is like that chocolatey brown that matches this whenever i go in with these darker tones i love using a lip liner because i feel like it really allows you to shape the lip first and then just go in with this like in the center of the lip so i'm about to swatch it for you guys so you guys can see so that's the lip liner in brown by nyx cosmetics and then that's the lipstick and you guys can see they're like a great pair so the next one that i have right here is the shade desire this is a gorgeous like i want to let me actually look at the description because i don't want to mess up but shade desire is classified as a deep brown nude this shade is absolutely gorgeous i think this is the perfect shade for that person who may want to go for like a brownie tone lipstick but you don't want to go all the way here with this one that we just applied this one is a more wearable shade it's a little bit more in comfort zone for the brown family. So I definitely would say that if you're looking for like a brownie tone lipstick, but you don't want it to be too brown, I think this one's excellent. I would say for this one, you can also go in with this NYX Cosmetics lip liner in the shade brown that I would recommend for the darkest. So you guys can see. Okay, the next shade we're gonna go in with is the shade Passion. And this one is labeled as a medium mauve nude. So this one will give me those like nice mauve fall time vibes, like almost like a berry tone in my opinion. Okay, so this is what it looks like on the lips. I think this color is so beautiful. This is honestly a very wearable shade. I feel like a lot of people like this tone just for like work or like every day, like they prefer something kind of more like mauve -y. 
with like a little bit of almost like brown in there, like terracotta tones. Um, this is also a great transition piece, I feel like, from like summer to like fall. So I think that like that also makes it like still a fun wearable color for like multiple seasons, which I think is great because I just love these type of lippies. I feel like it's not too nude where it's like, oh my gosh, it's like too nude, but it's not too dark where it's like out of people's comfort zone. I feel like it's right in between. So for this one, I would... Honestly, I feel like this one you don't necessarily have to line because I feel like it's easy to work with because it's more so like that mid-range color. Um, let me see. I feel like you could even get away with using, let's see. Oh, this one would be good. Um, Cold Brew by NYX Cosmetics is a good one because it's kind of like a like terracotta-y brown. So I feel like if anything, it would just give it dimension. I will have all of these listed down below in my description box. You guys can go ahead and check them out. But you guys can see like paired together it would almost give it like that dimensiony effect but this by itself looks so good really love it definitely see myself reaching for this like a lot during the fall and as just like an everyday or even like to dress it up i feel like this is one of those perfect shades for like day to night now we're gonna be moving into the more nudie tone lippies okay so now we're gonna be going in with the shade secret and this is actually the one that i originally skipped out on if you watched my last video where I did $10 and under makeup tutorial, I talked about how I purchased this collection, but I skipped out on the pink one, but I was like, I'm gonna be doing a full swatch video, so I wanna get the pink one. And after trying the formulas, I was like, wait, this is a really good formula. Let me also get the pink one. So this is the more pinky one out of all of them. And this one is in the shade Secret, and this is labeled as a pinky nude. So let's put this one on the lips. So this one, if you don't like pinky nudes, don't get it because it's literally a pinky nude. I like a pinky nude moment with the right look. Like I feel like with this look that I have going on, you can get away with doing a like really dark lip or a more neutral lip. I honestly like the fact that it's not too pinky. It's more so like a muted pink, which I feel like still makes it wearable. Um, I feel like sometimes some brands come out with really pinky toned like colors and I feel like they can kind of look blue almost or sometimes they can just make your teeth look like they're yellow and just not good but I think that this one is like that perfect tone and this obviously is by itself for me personally when I wear nudes I like to just go in with a lip liner because I want to add that dimension I want to really make this lip kind of my own especially because of my complexion I feel like sometimes certain nudes can get lost in translation and kind of wash the rest of my makeup out so for this one what I would do is I would go in with a like neutral um, nude lip liner. So I would probably go in with this shade right here in Sandstorm by NYX Cosmetics. A lot of these lip liners that I'm going to be suggesting are from NYX Cosmetics. I really love them and they're super affordable. All the lip liners that I'm going to be talking about to match with these are affordable lip liners. But um, I just personally for me like a very like neutral nude to match with this like a warm. Do you see how that really goes nicely? So Sandstorm by NYX Cosmetics and then I have the lippy in the shade secret which is that pinky nude and i feel like it really gives it that perfect dimension because maybe if you're somebody that you're scared to go with a pinky nude but you want to try a pinky nude using a neutral nude lip liner will definitely neutralize it well it'll it will make it look like whoa that's too pink so now i'm going to go in with the next nude which is called pleasure these actually do remind me honestly a lot of kkw beauty cream lipsticks Okay, so this one is much lighter nude. I feel like they did a good job of making these nudes very nice and like the right nudie tone because I feel like sometimes brands can come out with colors and they just don't go. Like they're just like too pink or like too, too nude. And I feel like this is like a pretty good like true to nude pink, um, like a peachy tone. Um, I don't think it looks too peachy on me but on somebody else, it may look a little bit more peachier. Just a reminder, on all of us, it'll look completely different. I just like to swatch these because I know a lot of you guys are around the same complexion as me, so you guys kind of want to see what it would look like. But this one is really pretty. Um, I just personally would want to wear it with a lip liner. And the lip liner that I would wear it with is the Morphe Sweet Tea Lip Liner. This one is so good. It's $5, and it's like that perfect, like, brownie tone lip liner um and i think because this color is like a peachy tone i feel like it complements that lip liner really well so i'm going to show you guys how that looks 
So it looks like that. You can also use the one that I just showed you guys, which is in the shade Sandstorm, which is the other neutral nude, which I feel like a lot of you guys would probably prefer. Right there, you can also do that. It just really depends. Do you want warm or do you want more neutral? Um, for me, I like warm because I really like to like meet that like warm tones on my face, um, but you have options. So that is the shade, where is it? That is the shade Pleasure right here. Okay, the last shade we're gonna be going in with is the shade Tease. And this is like the perfect nude. So Tease is a mid-tone neutral nude. And this one's actually one of my favorites for like a nudie moment. Like it doesn't look too bad if maybe you're not somebody that doesn't like to go in with lip liner. Still looks good alone. For me personally, I would go in with Sandstorm, um, that what color that we just went in with, which is like that warm brown, just to really like spice it up. I feel like it's like the perfect combo for the fall um, to have these two or like transitioning to fall. It like really gives you like really pretty vibes. You guys can see how that looks next to each other. Or if you really kind of want to make it a dramatic nude moment, you can always go in with like the darker brown. Is this one? Yeah, you could always go in with like a brown and really like intensify it. So this is the first lip liner I talked about. And you could kind of like go more in so with this lip liner all over and then just do like the center of it with this shade um, tease and really like make that a statement like lip liner and lipstick moment or you can just line the outer parts and then have this like all over. But it's really up to you. Um, I just personally love a good dimensional lip moment. So for me, this is what I would pick. I would pick the Sweet Tea Morphe lip liner or a more deeper tone if I kind of want more so of like that. Bam, this is the lip. Look at my lips, they look bomb AF, you know? Okay, so I already applied all of them and I don't have anything on my lips because I actually want to apply the one that I want to just wear. And I was gonna pick a nude, but I'm like, you know what? I feel like I always post videos using a nude lipstick. So let's try something different. So I'm gonna be using one of the darker tones. I think I'm gonna be using the mid-tone brown. I don't wanna go too dark, but I don't wanna go too like in my comfort zone because I feel like this one is gorgeous, but it's definitely more so in my comfort zone. So I'm gonna be taking Desire, the mid-tone brown. I'm gonna be going in with the lip liner in Cold Brew by NYX Cosmetics. I'm going in with Desire. And look how beautiful that complements each other. For those of you guys who may not do lip liner, highly recommend it. It makes a difference. This color is stunning. It's like a staple color, but it's also not like too intense for the person who may slowly be venturing into more so of like those deep tone colors. It is truly so pretty and ugh, I'm just ready for fall. I mean, it's about to be August and I feel like as soon as August 1st hits, I'm just like Bath and Body Works, fall candles, where you at? So we have our lip of the day on and I want to go through the description of these just to kind of check off and see what I feel like is accurate and what I feel like isn't so accurate. So like I mentioned, these do retail for $8.99, which I think is an amazing price for what you're getting. You're getting really good quality products for a, such an affordable price. I mean, these lipsticks feel so nice, creamy, smooth, very comfortable on the lips, offer great pigmentation, and the packaging also is stunning. Like I live for a gold packaging moment. You guys clearly see I love my gold. This is a velvety matte lipstick in a curated range of nudes designed to flatter an array of skin tones, which I think is so true and so beautiful that they did it that way because there's nudes for everybody. So that's the first thing that it says. Um, it's supposed to be the perfect nude lipstick for every skin tone, luxurious soft velvet matte finish. It definitely does feel very smooth, creamy for sure, ultra creamy. Velvety matte, I don't think these are necessarily matte matte, so don't go into this thinking that they're gonna feel like a liquid lipstick or they're gonna feel like a matte cream lipstick that's super drying. These are nice and hydrate. I feel like these are super hydrating for a matte formula. Um, they're not transfer proof in my opinion, so just keep that in mind. Okay, next up, these are cruelty-free vegan, and these are made in Italy. So, I mean, I don't know if that's supposed to be just the final pinch to add like that ultra luxurious drugstore vibes, but that's good to know. I feel like I give these a nine out of 10 because I do feel like they're very true to the claims, except for I don't think they're as matte. The velvety matte, maybe a little bit like the velvety, but matte matte, don't go into this thinking you're gonna get a matte lipstick that's not gonna transfer. 
this will have some transfer. Definitely check them out. If you've been eyeing them and you like a comfortable lipstick, something that's going to be pigmented and work really nicely, highly recommend these for $8.99. I mean, you can't really beat that price. So if you did enjoy watching this video, please give it a big thumbs up because perhaps if you guys did enjoy watching this video a lot, then I'll go ahead and do more lip swatch videos in the future for other collections, as long as they're on budget, because I mean, it's expensive to be buying a bunch of lipsticks, you know what I'm saying, to do a swatch video, but these were in a great price that I was able to afford, so I was like, let me go ahead and try these out. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you guys. Don't forget to stay safe, stay blessed, and stay beautiful, and I'll be seeing you guys very, very soon for a brand new video. Bye, guys.